I wanted to engrave an image on a live edge charcuterie board. This is the printed image. I'm using Logic Trace 2018 and I've selected combination as my method of digitizing. I picked out a piece of bird's eye maple for this charcuterie board and it's also live edge. Very beautiful grain pattern. I'm also going to trace out that guitar font. I couldn't find that type of font on the computer fonts, so I thought, just to save some time, I'll just trace this out. Any other text required on this image, I'll just use the computer font built into the program. Here I'll be using the circle command for doing those small circles on the guitar neck. Very easy command to use. You just select three points on the circle, computer echoes back the diameter, accept it. When I make charcuterie boards I always coat them with a mineral oil because I feel mineral oil is food safe. Give it about four coats, looks good. Again, I'm using that circle command for the bottom buttons on the guitar neck. Shown here, I'm tracing out that font, guitar. I also forgot to mention earlier, I always use a red pencil to mark where I've started my tracing, and that way I don't cause a cross vector by over tracing that spot. Again, I'm using that circle command for the eye on the guitar text. And then I go back to the combination setting for digitizing. Getting close now to finishing up my tracing. And when I'm done, I'll create a DXF file. I'm going to load that file into Vectric Aspire 11.0. I'm going to check the vector quality. And I'll add a bit of text and move some things around. Vector quality is good, so we'll start looking at moving some text around. I always like to take my file and run it through the simulator just to see how it's going to look when it's done. Shown here, there's a preview command on the laser software, which I can have a look just to see how that file is going to go. I did a bit of a test run before I did the actual charcuterie board just on a piece of quarter inch plywood but the actual engraving of the live edge maple took 47 minutes. This was the test cut. This is how the piece looked just coming out of the laser. I cleaned it up, sanded it at 220 grit and this is how it looks. Looks good. 